Hello YouTube, it's Krasama. And here I have the Frame Arms Girl Architect Off-White version. Uh, now this is a kit, you know, created and manufactured by Kotobukiya. Um, the Frame Arms Girls are pretty much a uh, girl design of the Frame Arms kits that are original designs from Kotobukiya. Um, now this in particular is my first Frame Arms Girl kit I've ever built in my entire life. Um, I can tell you off the bat, these kits are fantastic. Um, I think a lot of people probably are off put, um, are pretty much off putted by uh, the fact that they're like little girls. Like they usually look like they're in their teens or so. Um, yeah, that is a little bit of a kind of. Um, it, it's a little bit of an of off put when it comes to building these models. Uh, even like my wife and, and some friends, they pretty much have the same idea like, hey, these kits are childish or they're just like really inappropriate, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I don't look at them as like girls, I just look at them as mechs because in the anime, uh, they're actually kind of just robots, like little figures um, that you can customize and go ahead and battle with. Um, in the, at least in the anime, they are um, pretty much along along the same lines of Gunpla, like uh, you know, build fighters. So if you you know build these, you can pretty much customize them however you want, and then you can go ahead and um, you know pretty much battle with them. Now there's a lot of customizable options on this. You see, always like little holes throughout the uh, the entire kit. Well, pretty much almost everything uh, as far as like different weaponry that Kotobukiya uh, releases is going to be compatible with these kits, uh, whether it be the, the Frame Arms Girl or just the Frame Arms kits themselves. Um, so let's go ahead and just look at the articulation of the suit or of the, the mech or whatever you want to call it, uh, and then we'll go ahead and get into some more detailed kind of information. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the articulation of the head. Um, first, the head sculpt is fantastic. Um, I just, I, like I said before, I'd never built one of these before until recently, uh, but this thing is fantastic. Now there is gonna be some uh, paint that's gonna have to be utilized. Uh, so like all that pink inside there on the panel lines as well as these gray uh, dots, uh, that's all paint. Pretty much that entire piece is gonna be white. Uh, now the head articulation on the neck uh, can look down and look up that far, and it can go back, you know, back and forth and can rotate uh, pretty much a full 360, no issues. Um, now these little hair kind of like strands or whatever, uh, these are gonna be on individual ball joints uh, at the top of the head as well as in the hair. So, I mean, this is gonna have a lot of different uh, posability options. And there's also a little peg right there in the back of the head. So if there's anything you wanna plug into it, uh, whether it be um, maybe like you wanna Per, like put a ponytail or something like that. You can actually do a ponytail uh, on the kit if you want. Um, but overall, it looks really good. Now there are gonna be different faces. So you are gonna have uh, this basic face right here. This face that's kind of looking a little bit to the right. And this somewhat like smiling kind of face. It's a little bit creepy, but uh, yeah, it's a little smiling face. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the body. Um, now, once again, pretty much all this um, like pink that you all see right here, uh, that's all pretty much paint. So this is gonna be all white, and this is gonna be all purple, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, but the articulation is really good. You're gonna have this little piece that's gonna be in the center. Uh, this kind of like has its own little like articulation. Uh, like it doesn't really do too much, but it's on like a little peg, so you can kind of move it down if you want to expose, I guess, a little more of the cleavage, or if you want to go ahead and bring it up. I think this is actually uh, how it's supposed to be positioned. Now this is going to be connected on a joint inside here, so it can pretty much you know bend back that far and bend forward uh, that far. I don't really know. There's not really no side to side, but it can definitely uh, rotate side to side like that. Now, um, nothing really going on here in the waist. Uh, however, these little skirts part, the, eh, these skirt parts uh, can actually all come up individually. Um, I think the only one I can't is gonna be the back piece right here. Uh, but it's still pretty cool because um, you're gonna have like two little peg holes right here. So like I mentioned before, there's a lot of different weapon sets that uh, is compatible with these kits. Uh, so if you wanna go ahead and just, you know, plug a weapon or, you know, uh, a case or something like that in the back, uh, you're definitely gonna be more than welcome to. Um, but overall, like, I, I just, I love the slenderness of it. Um, I think maybe the torso is a little bit too long in my opinion. Uh, but overall, I mean, like, this is a pretty dope, uh, aesthetically pleasing, you know, kit. Uh, not to me, not to say that in any kind of like perverted way. I'm just saying, like in general, um, you know, it's it's really like I like slender kits because I I, I kind of like 
the whole stealth and speed aspect of mobile suits. Um, so like when I when I bought this, I was like, wow, I could really do a lot of uh, different cool mechanisms. Uh, maybe give it some like cool like melee weapons, and it could be almost like a ninja uh, female mech suit. Okay, now taking a look at the arms. Uh, the arms are going to be on a little ball joint right here, so this can pretty much uh, move all around, and then this can actually rotate all the way up, and you know has it just overall has a good range of movement. Um, pretty much not going to be any issues, um, so you can rotate, you know, 360, so on and so forth. Uh, now this is going to be a little peg, so you can rotate on the ball joint. Uh, we'll pretty much rotate below, uh, well above the bicep, like so. And then this is going to be an individual piece, and it has a hole right there. So if you want to plug something in there, you're more than welcome to. Uh, and then this is going to be pretty much an individual articulated joint. So it really is going to be able to only do uh, that much, nothing uh, too spectacular. And then this is going to be a little ball joint that's going to be uh, like a socket and can rotate up and down, so on and so forth. So if you want to spin it around and then go up and down, you're more than welcome to, uh, no issues. And then once again, this pink is all pretty much uh, painted in and not a part of the plastic itself. Now when it comes to the hands, you're gonna have multiple different hands for this suit. Uh, so you're gonna have these little open hands, these pointing fingers, these open palm hands, these open hands to carry stuff in, and lastly, these fists. Okay, now let's take a look at these legs. Um, pretty much not gonna be too much craziness that's going on with them. Uh, they're gonna have like little tiny uh, joints inside the, uh, the waist right here. So you can kind of like move them a little bit up and down like that. Uh, they can go forward that much, backwards that much. Um, not really going to be able to do the splits because they're all going to be on a uh, little ball joint inside there. Uh, now this piece is going to have its own little articulation uh, so you can kind of move that around. And it's also going to have a little peg right here so if you want to plug in maybe like some um, some holsters or any kind of containers or anything like that, uh, you can definitely plug them in right there. And now this neat part is going to have its own little articulation, can go up and down, and there's going to be two points of articulation in this knee which is really, really fantastic. Um, I, I love the knee joint. So the knee joint works really, really well. Uh, now, you just gotta be careful because you gotta get the knee uh, pretty much out of the way whenever you're bringing that knee, uh, knee part up. And then the foot is gonna have a wide range of articulation itself. So you can kind of swivel back, back and forth, side to side, and so on and so forth. Now on the legs, there is gonna be a lot of different uh, connection, like connector points. So if you wanna go ahead and plug in some stuff, you are more than welcome to. Um, even if you wanna just take off the feet, uh, you can definitely plug in some maybe frame arms, legs, or something of the sort inside there. Um, honestly, the, 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 the wide range of posability is fair, is just pretty much ridiculous. Um, now all this pink, once again, is all painted in. It is not uh, molded into the plastic, so if you wanna go ahead and give it a little more accuracy, uh, you're gonna go ahead. You're gonna go ahead and have to paint that yourself. However, this is kind of something that I don't. I don't think it has like a. Um, it's not really canon. Um, it's just what I seen in the, in the uh, instruction booklet. So I went ahead and did it like that. But if you want to go ahead and paint whatever color you want, by all means, be my guest. Okay, and if you want to go ahead and plug in maybe like a frame arms uh, arm into the arm, uh, you could definitely replace it. So all you're gonna do is just take off like this entire piece right here, uh, and then you're gonna replace it with this little part that is included in the kit. So you can go ahead and plug in maybe a, a, a different frame arms uh, arm like or forearm into this. So um, that's the only thing I, I, I can see it being used for. Uh, I do have one frame arms kit, which is the base lord. Uh, it's not here yet. I, I gotta wait till next week in order to get it um, from my household goods. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that that's what it's actually used for if you wanna utilize different frame arms arms. Now there's also this one piece right here uh, there, it comes with two of them. So this little connector point uh, is just kind of like an extra like attachment. So if you want to go ahead and plug it into the forearm, um, I'm guessing like you can go ahead and utilize it for different weapons or any other type of attachments that can be utilized for the arm. And then for the legs, uh, it's gonna have like the same connecting point right here. So uh, it's basically a part that you can go ahead and replace right here. And if you wanna connect uh, any type of frame arms uh, kit or that, you know, a frame arms leg into this, you're more likely going to be able to with that. And lastly, there's gonna be this other connecting point right here. So if you wanna take off uh, this knee, you can go ahead and plug this part into the knee like so, uh, and then you're gonna have this little connection which seems to be fairly loose. Um, well, I pretty much have it all the way in there. Um, so even though it's loose, if you get like something that can 
possibly be um, you know weighed down right here or just utilize some uh, some putty or glue or whatever uh, to keep that you know straightforward however you uh, ang want to angle it uh, but this is definitely a part if you want to go ahead and do some more uh, customization maybe on the knee so the only weapon this kit actually comes with is going to be this little blade uh, now it actually does come in all purple but I went ahead and painted uh, the blade itself uh, pretty much a very dull silver well I pretty much painted it silver and then I hit it with a top coat um, so that's pretty much all you're going to get. Uh, this is really going going to encourage you to kind of start with a blank canvas and uh, basically buy some of those nice little weapon sets and then arm this uh, mobile suit, or not mobile suit, uh, but arm this figure with a uh, with a different weapon. So uh, with this one in particular, I'm going to be giving her uh, more like kind of short range, um, like pretty much medium range uh, weaponry. So that's kind of like the image I have with hers that she's going to be uh, pretty much having like maybe a machine gun as well as maybe like some grenades or uh, maybe even some rockets uh, maybe some stuff mounted onto the shoulders uh, but once uh, later on when I start reviewing some of the uh, the different Kotobukiya weapon sets uh, I'll be you know definitely using her as kind of like my base uh, figure for those weapons but the knife itself does look pretty dope so I'm not really too um, I'm not really complaining about it at all Okay, and the last accessory that you're actually going to get with this is going to be this like arm pretty much holding the uh, like a stocking or something for the leg. Uh, so the leg is a fixed, you know, pose. It's not actually, uh, there's no posability with it. It is going to be connected on the ball joint that's connected to the hip. Um, but all this like pink that you see right there, uh, all that needs to be painted in. So you're going to have a little work um, cut out for you if you want to go ahead and uh, detail this thing up. But overall, it doesn't look bad. It's a nice little like pose. Uh, however, it's not really to my taste. I'd rather have uh, these little figurines um, you know pose with some better you know action and then obviously with the st uh, stocking attachment you're gonna get this fixed arm that is going to connect into the joint of the shoulder uh, right there so overall I mean the the aesthetic of it doesn't really look too bad um, but I'm just not really too keen on the overall uh, appearance of it it, it just kind of looks a little boring uh, to my taste Okay, so the last two things I want to mention before I conclude on the review is that it does come with this little stand that you can see right there. So if you want to go ahead and try and pose it in however pose that you want to, uh, you are going to have a stand to do so. And then also it's going to come with some water slides. So if you decide you want to go ahead and paint the entire face, um, you know, or, you know, you paint the entire kid, and obviously you want to paint the the face, uh, you're going to have some eye uh, sticker, well, eye water slide uh, decals to go ahead and utilize for the eyes, which is pretty good. So my overall conclusion with this uh, suit, the reason I bought this one as my first Frame Arms Girl is because it was it was basic. Uh, it was about like twenty eight dollars. Oh, sorry, it was thirty bucks. Um, so I was like, you know what? This is probably the cheapest uh, Frame Arms kit I've seen. Um, I don't think I've really seen anything below uh, that much money. So I was like, you know what? If if it's gonna be this cheap. Um, it's going to be a great introduction because like if I don't like the kits at least I won't figure like oh I spent you know 40 or 50 bucks on a, on, a, on a kit and I'm just not really pleased with it so I bought this one first to so go ahead and, and just make it as my uh, my entry into the uh, the frame arms girl line and I, honestly guys I'm hooked um, I know a lot of people are just like off put it like I mentioned before in, in the beginning of the video that people just don't like it for whatever reason Man, these kits are fantastic. And then when it comes to the poses, uh, you're really going to be able to do a lot of dynamic poses with this thing. Like, if I had to do a pose video on this kit or any other Frame Arms kit, I would probably not have enough time on my hands to get into every single pose imaginable. Um, and then all the connecting points, those little holes all around her, uh, you could just pretty much, like... You know, put any kind of weapon attachment or you know any kind of uh, enhancement parts on her, and she's gonna come out probably like pretty badass. Um, and there's a lot of different Kotobukiya weapon sets that um, that I have already, and some that I actually really want to get. Uh, and those are gonna be you know featured in this channel a little later on once I get around to them. Um, but I mean, this is just a really really sick figure a sick line and um, honestly guys whether you like it or not I will be getting into this series and this will be something that's going to be heavily featured on my channel so obviously I'm not going to get rid of uh, anything Gunpla wise um, but 
I think there's a total of like maybe 10 or 12 um, of these, you know, girl uh, frame arms girl kits. Um, so there's really not much I can really do, but one in particular I am going to be customizing. Um, but other than that, this is really awesome. The, this one in particular is very cheap. The off-white architect, or I guess even the regular architect, and then there's um. I think it's like the materia which they're like you know they're little girls as well but um they're just basic they don't have any weapons or anything attached to them um it's gonna be more of like the, the stylid and uh the base lord those are the ones that's gonna have uh heavy armor as well as other type of weapon uh attachments but that's it for me guys uh definitely thanks for watching um if you do enjoy these kits uh definitely let me know in the comments below and as always go ahead and leave a like comment subscribe and ring that bell for future notifications notifications if you want to see more content reviews like this but i'll be seeing y'all later in the next review and i'll talk to you then bye bye